you are in the process of buying a turnkey rental property, or you're about to buy a turnkey rental property, or you're thinking you want to buy one down the lines, you're asking yourself, should I hire a real estate agent to help me with that transaction? I don't know. Should you? So here's my thought. At the end of the day, no matter what, you should always do what you're most comfortable with. But in order to decide what you are most comfortable with, I want to offer you information to consider that maybe you haven't considered before. And a quick caveat about what I'm about to tell you. I am talking specifically about turnkey rental properties that are sold from turnkey provider companies. I'm not talking about the house down the street that's in turnkey condition. Yeah, you're probably going to use a real estate agent for that or a property off the MLS. I'm talking about the properties from turnkey providers, period. So here's the information I want to offer you, which is three reasons why I personally don't think you should hire a real estate agent for that transaction. Reason number one. Most real estate agents, I don't know what the percentage would be, but most real estate agents are not super savvy on investment properties anyways. It's not their focus. They work on primary home buying, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's certainly agents out there who are familiar with investing, but more than the fact that most of them aren't, they certainly aren't overly familiar with turnkey rental properties. So you're kind of inviting them in to help you, which they can to the best of their abilities. And it's not saying they're going to do it wrong, but you're kind of inviting them into a world that they don't really operate in anyways. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. If this was someone who is just an absolute specialist expert in turnkey rental properties, yeah, might be great to have on your side. But a general real estate agent, this probably isn't really their jam. Reason number two, most turnkey providers use the state issued standard purchase and sale agreement contract. So it's like a government document. Doesn't mean they can't add addendums to it. They can make some changes to it. But for the most part, if they're using the like certified state issued agreement and the contract, which is probably most likely what you're interested in having an agent check out for or to help you with. There's not as much room for things to go wrong with that contract. So it's like, why hire them in order to review something that is state issued? Again, falls into comfort levels. This also brings up the question of, well, if it's not a real estate agent, what about an attorney? Well, you could hire an attorney to make sure this contract is completely legit, but I have opinions on that and I have a video on that. So I'm going to link to that below. So go check that out to hear the entire attorney perspective as whether you should hire the attorney. Now, back to the real estate agents. If the case comes up where the provider doesn't use a state issued contract, again, check out that attorney video. But also this leads me into point number three. There is a big reason why I am a big fan of working through a turnkey marketing company to work through the turnkey providers. I also happen to have a video on that, so definitely check that out below. But one of the reasons that I am a big fan of working through turnkey marketing companies is most often those turnkey marketing companies, and actually, as I say that, I think all of them, as I'm pretty sure, are licensed real estate agents and or licensed brokers. So if you work through a turnkey marketing company, which is essentially free to you, and there's a ton of benefits, check out that video below. One of those benefits is you kind of have a whole pile of agents and brokers at your disposal for free. So those people do specialize in turnkey rental properties. So kind of going back to point number one, if you just hire any real estate agent off the street, may not be super helpful, but if you work through one of the marketing companies, you have all of the support of a real estate agent at your disposal for free. Hello. And real estate agents charge a good bit. So that's a massive price difference. So for me, I'm not really a big advocate of hiring a real estate agent to help with your turnkey. Again, that depends on a few things. Is the contract state issued? Do you, are you working through a marketing company? Do you have someone to support you? My last kind of mention about this is in terms of that support, the real estate agent is, hasn't really been through the turnkey buying process. The marketing companies have, other people who have been through turnkeys have. You kind of want to focus more on finding those people. I've been dealing with turnkey rental properties for a decade. 
So you can always ask me for support, you know, ask the people who have been through that buying process, because honestly, most of the real estate agents are not that person. So if this was helpful, if you didn't already hit that like button, hit that like button and comment below if you have ever hired a real estate agent for a turnkey property or what your thoughts are about whether you feel like you should or shouldn't, or even what questions you have if you were to not hire a real estate agent. I hope this video is helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.